Good morning and welcome to 115.5 The Bucket List Cape Breton. Now, after lots of consideration and stuff yesterday, um, and folks were actually sending me some in, I'd really like you to send in what we're going to call Timbits. And if there's more than one, tin bites. No tid, tid. Not Tim, because, you know, we'll so probably have somebody try to sue us or something for that, but tid bites. You know, like somebody's going to send you a tidbit. I think it's actually a tidbit, but because we don't want to be upset in any of the ladies, we're going to call them tidbits. So, uh, we have a few tidbits here today. Um, but before we get to that, I was thinking I should get myself one of those, you know, big clocks, things that at, with a timer for 10 minutes so with big numbers on them so I can actually see it and sort of set it and have a countdown because I sure as hell can't see anything there. Or, you know, Ron McLean could stop by and, you know, keep me on track. But that's probably not going to happen. Any of you old enough out there to remember Tammy Fee Baker? You remember her with the bleach blonde hair and five sets of false eyelashes? And kept saying, oh, her husband Jim would never, ever steal the money from the church or whatever. Um, even though they had gold bathtubs and their dogs even had gold dishes. To, you know. Now, I only bring her up. <laughs> I only bring up that picture and stick it in your mind because I was hoping you weren't thinking that that's what I was doing. Was trying to raise money or make you send me some. Of course, it would be nice if you stuck up fiber in an envelope and sent it to me but we're not begging for money or anything here that was you know we, we, I, I don't want because there's some new folks that jumped in in the last couple of days and um, they found some of the stuff quite amusing but they did say that they watched because we were trying to do some good stuff for other people and that's still our main goal and you know I want to make sure we stay on track Although I'm not going to harp on about it. So instead, we're going to do local news um, and whatever else just jumps out of my head. So I actually wrote stuff down so I wouldn't be sitting here going, uh, uh, like that. So let me, wait, don't put my drum on. Wait, wait. We, um, I was so busy trying to talked to everybody yesterday that, that sent a message in that uh, I'm exhausted. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Okay, now. We, oh, I wrote it all down now. I can't freaking read my... Uh, I, said, I can't read my writing. <laughs> now, ain't that a bitch. Um, oh, Sammy wants to say hi. Oh, wait, don't touch. Uh, hi, Sam. Okay, you can get down now. Down. Okay. All right. That was for you, Bailey. Okay. Now, let's start with yesterday. Lightning, our friend Debbie. Her videos were really good. And, uh, it was great because she was taking folks on a lovely winter wonderland trail ride. And some of the folks, they'd never been on a horse. I noticed that. They wrote, never been on a horse in their life and really enjoyed going for the trail ride. It was actually probably for them way better than going, at least for one, because she's so scared shitless of getting on that, you know, she'd never ever do it. But it was really nice to see from that perspective. The one thing about Debbie, she's so lonely down there and would really like other folks to go riding with her that she practically tried to sell them the inn that was close by. She clicked right into uh, real estate selling mode and uh, should have got uh, salesman of the week for that. Although not that she sells. Or as in, you know, she doesn't sell real estate. But Jesus, she couldn't have told us any more about the local history. Tour guide or whatever. But anyway, she was having a great time. Her videos were good and she took everybody for a ride. Okay, that was good. Then we had wee Tammy. Now, you think... You've seen pictures mostly of Tammy and Kayla together. You know, you don't usually see them standing beside other people. Because they're short. And if you watched Tammy's video yesterday, 
you can see how short. You would think people with the money she has, she would buy chairs that fit, but whatever. Um, and, you know, she was doing her video yesterday and uh, filling us in and a little bit of what's going on around uh, Newfoundland. And it will probably be a whole lot more exciting when she takes us outside in the buggy on that bus seat thing with Skipper pulling us around to meet those really neat guys on up the hill so that, you know, we can get them in on the video. Um, I think her reporting style is a little more like uh, Lloyd Robertson, not so much, you know, like the Andy Rooney type that I am. But anyway, well done. It was great to see you guys, and I'm sure glad you did the thing. Where the hell? I can't be in five minutes already. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Okay, stop. Okay, um, all right. We, um, we seem to tend to forget that not all kids are bad kids. There are actually... Lots of really good kids, and, and some of them are in our own areas. We know them, but they just don't get recognized and uh, hardly ever get any praise. So I'm Christ, I've only got four minutes. Um, there's a whole bunch of young girls, uh, writers, out of the Redwood Stables that are out volunteering um, and canvassing for the Heart and Stroke Foundation. So, you know, they're giving uh, a bit back to... I hate that word society, but okay, we'll use that. So, uh, a woo -woo for those girls. They're out there doing some good stuff. Um, oh, for Christ's sake. Wissy, Maria. Maria wanted me to remind you all that if your cat has been missing for several days, maybe you ought to check the shed. Um, some folks' cats got stuck in a shed and, uh, and wear a catcher's face mitt thing because when they opened the door the cat went straight for his face hung on like olympic because he hadn't eaten or seen anybody or drunk anything for i don't know three or four days so you know make sure you check on your cats and don't forget to put them inside if 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 cindy day was here we wouldn't have any worries because she would have told us that it was going to be real cold and we could put everybody away but you know she is and little firebug nancy now nancy weighs oh i don't know 85 pounds soaking wet not that she's not mighty, because she is, but there's a beaver in her bond, and he's eating down the bare trees. What happens is he's taking away the bottom bits, and they start to get pretty precarious, and they're going to fall either on the house or the barn. So she's got her and her husband got to go out, take that tree down, you know, strip it, take all the limbs off and stuff, put them in a pile, get them ready for the fire pit. And uh, the next morning she comes back out and the little bastard has taken all the twigs and stuff and run them underground to make himself a dam. So what I'm suggesting or thinking I ought to do for her is is I'm going to send her a uh, snorkel and some fins so that she can go underwater and talk to this guy because um, if, if they don't settle it, his pelt's going to be on the end of the barn. Or something. So, if anybody knows how to do an intervention with a beaver, um, let her know because I'm sure she it would break her heart that she'd have to do something as drastic as you know, hang him on the barn. Although I'm sure she really would like to. Um, that was that, and that was that. Merciful God. Ah. Uh, Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah. See, look, there we are. 8.47 already. So, you know, like, if you're not organized, and we're only gonna, I'm only going to do one. So, you get the Ted Bites in, and we get any... I don't think we... Did we... When it, oh, God. They didn't want the girls to do any um, ski jumping. So, they said, no, you couldn't do it. Well, did you see the girls on the downhill yesterday? Merciful God. You thought that they really wanted to do uh, the jump because some of them... Right up in the air and nearly killed himself. Oh, it's 9.15. Okay, my little song for today is one my granny used to sing. Um, tip, tip, my little horse. Tip, tip, again, sir. How many miles to Dublin down? Four score and ten, sir. Tip, tip, my little horse. Tip, tip, again, sir. Can I get there by candlelight? Yes, and back again, sir. And with that, it's 9.36. Oh, goody. So, I can see. Peace out. Have a great day. Go help a neighbor. Sh I wish I had somebody here to help me shovel this friggin' snow off my driveway. I can't go for my lesson. So, okay, that's it. Okay, peace out, Dad.